Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist. We are talking about automotive tester certification. As a part of this, we are in chapter four right now, talking about the automotive specific test techniques and looking, continuing with the 4.2 dynamic test techniques. As a part of this, we have covered one topic in previous tutorial and today we are talking about 4.2.2, back-to-back testing. Now what exactly back-to-back -back testing is or what exactly could be the benefit of that is what we will be discussing here. First of all, the definition of back-to-back -back testing. Of course, back-to-back -back testing is a type of testing which is conducted if there are two or more variants of components with similar functionality, or you can all even call it as a test item, which might have varied, uh, different variants and uh, definitely have some, some common functionality. So uh, it is basically to run your test on different variants and see that how exactly the outcome is are responding back to you. If they are same, it is passed. If they are different, the difference will be analyzed to see what kind of differences you're getting. And that's the reason as it is more about comparing the results on different variants, it is also called as comparison testing. The aim of the back-to-back -back testing is to compare the results to check if there are any kind of divergence in the work. Now, what exactly is the process of the back-to-back -back testing process? Generally, the process of back-to-back -back testing is quite simple and clear. It consists of three stages. That is, you start with the test case preparations where the test cases are generally designed, application running, which is to run and execute the testing and storing the results in different files, which should be versioned at the same time. And definitely the analysis part, which is to compare and report. That is, the results are automatically compared and after that report, which includes the indicated problems in the different versions. So of course, there are a lot of benefits of uh, conducting back-to-back -back testing uh, in order to make sure that it is, it is cost-effective instead of uh, running different tests in different environments. You can run it on the same environment with different variant components which you're using. It helps you to analyze the important software features requiring any kind of modification. It can be conducted even after substantial changes which might be performed anytime during the execution process. But it is more important for us to understand the test item must be based on the same requirements, which is like from the content point of view, core functionality would remain the same but may have different variants and that's where it would be important. This test does therefore not replace the requirement based test. So in the simple cases, uh, the test item of a back-to-back -back test are different versions of the same software. So generally, whenever you make any kind of basic changes to your requirement, uh, where the core functionality remains the same, but certain things have been modified, and that is what you call it as a different variant. And the same test can be executed in all these different variants and see that if the variants are still providing you the right result or not. In this case, uh, for example, an earlier version of the test item serves as test oracle for the back-to-back -back testing. And another alternative is the comparison of the executable model with the uh, generated code, could be manually or automatically. In this case, it is a form of model-based testing in which the executable model also serves as a test oracle. The technique is therefore very suitable for automated test design. And here, the tester derives not only the expected result from the model, but also the automotive test cases. So automated test cases will be easy to derive from here and would add more value to your preparation or executions as well as the analysis in very short interval of time. So put together, we were talking about what exactly back-to-back -back testing is, what is the approach, and definitely how it's going to help an automotive tester when working with the dynamic testing with a unique approach, which would be followed at any point of time. Well, so that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.